folks, I've got a flashlight for you today. This light I have been enjoying an awful lot. I've had a larger light that I got from Gearbest about six months ago. This is the Convoy L6. It's got more lumens than what I'm looking at today, but I like this light a fair bit better. This is the Hake Light H A I K E L I T E H T 35. You've got 2300 lumens. You've got a long throw, a kilometer distance that it throws. Nice strong narrow beam, or you can rotate it and it has a nice wide beam. So you can use it either way. I am very much enjoying it. It's a bit heavy. It takes two 1625 batteries. Um, it's got, like I was saying, that really long throw a kilometer. You can get a wide beam, narrow beam. Um, you turn at the uh, head of the beam, and as you can see, your handle shortens up. So I can't even get my full hand between this ring and the uh, light. And then you turn it to do a more focused beam. And now my hand easily fits in there and there's some space to spare. And that's how it does the distance. Instead of sliding, which is a mechanism that's not very good, you have a seal that's inside here. So it's sealed all the way. We've got IPX8 on here. IPX7 is one meter of submersion and it survives that. IPX8 is that plus. It's even better than that. It has... Um, the chips and everything in here are protected so that even if water gets inside there, it is still protected electronically. So that's a really good thing. So this thing out in the rain, any kind of rain, a hurricane, no problem at all. It's totally sealed up for you. That's a really good thing. You've only got a button on the back that actuates everything. You got a couple little holes here if you want to do some kind of lanyard or whatever, or you can just clip something on here. There's another clip up here. This isn't a button. This is a uh, little screw that you can screw in. It's the same size as a tripod mount. So if you wanted to, you could mount this on a tripod. That's a big deal. At least I like it. Because then if you wanted to do something for a long period of time, you know, across a ravine or something, you need wanted some light and stuff, there you go. Put that on there. You know, tighten it on and off you go. Um, nice knurling on here. Let me pull up my paper and we'll go through the list of stuff that we've got here instead of just going from my memory. The body is made of 6061 aircraft aluminum. It's anodized. We've got um, two 2650 batteries in here. There's a chip in there that protects it from putting it in backwards so it doesn't hurt the chipset. It's got overload protection. It's got low voltage protection. It's got temperature protection, so if it starts to overheat, it'll just knock down the voltage until it, you know, starts getting more reasonable temperature. Very big heat sink here. You see all these fins to help get the heat out of the LED. Um, the weight of this light, she's a heavy light because you've got a great big heavy piece of glass right there in the tip. It weighs... Um, 629 grams, which is one pound, 6.2 ounces. That's without the batteries. <laughs> you add the batteries, it's 815 grams. Yeah, the batteries themselves are 180 grams, which is one pound, 12.7 ounces. It comes with a strap. There you go, here's the strap. And the strap just ends in a regular strap. What I've done is I want to demonstrate a couple of different options to you. I've put on this lobster claw clip on this one end. You'd have to buy those yourself, but I put that on there. And then this end, I'm demonstrating that you can just use any kind of carabiner clip. And then you can just clip it on to that piece that I screwed in there. Or on the other end, you just clip it on to that end. And now this thing that's almost a pound and a half when it's fully loaded, not quite. Actually, it's a little over a pound and a half. One pound, 12.7. Put it around your neck. And what we've got is a nice, soft neoprene. It's actually squishy kind of material. It doesn't cut into your neck at all. Very nice and soft. And you just let it hang, or you let it hang through one arm, uh, or whatever, however you want to let it hang. And it's there for you. And so you don't have to be holding it in your hand, but you can have it outside of your jacket. 
So that's a really good thing. I like this feature an awful lot. You see very few lights that have two spots where you mount it. So it sits horizontally. That's a very good thing. Um, so since it's waterproof anyways, on the outside of your jacket, walking out in the rain, that's a good thing. You can use those S clips if you can get those. And uh, that way, easy on and off instead of actually tying the strap on because you don't want to tie the strap on because in case you don't want to use it, right? Let's see, what do we got on here? Three levels of light. We've got 2300 lumens. And like I said, I like it more than the L6 by Convoy. This thing's got 50% more lumens. This thing's got 3,800 lumens, 2,300 lumens. So you take half of 23 and add it to 23, you get close to 38. Roughly, I'm rounding around. So about 50% more light, but I don't like this as much as this guy. Uh, and this guy's got, you know, a light switch here, a switch there, you know, all kinds of different features. I think it's got strobe too, whatever. Not this guy. You've got three levels and that's it. No strobe, nothing fancy. You turn it on and you can change the light levels just by tapping on the end. You don't actually click it because that turns it off. You just tap the end and it changes through the brightness of how many lumens you've got. What LED chip do they have in there? It's a Cree XHP 35 HD chip in there. And that's what gives you all the light that you need. Lots and lots of light. And it's a bright kind of light. I don't have it on the brightest right now, and it's just ah, bright. Oh, uh, we're going to take this thing. I think I've covered all the specs on here. What we're going to do now is we're going to take this thing out in the dark and do some recording. Uh, I'll do some recording inside in the dark and outside in the dark just to show you how cool this thing really is. So stick around for that, and then we'll sum up what we have. So I'm about... I don't know, 12 yards, yeah, about 13 meters, something like that. I'll measure it and say exactly from that wall. And this is the low intensity of the light. And you can see the rings on the side walls right there. <laughs> Looks pretty cool in here. And uh, let's make it brighter. Actually, no, that was the, that was the brightest. So this is the dimmest, the uh, 300 lumens. And up to the brightest. And that's the middle 700, 2300. And now let's screw this open. So standing still in the exact same place, now I've got it fully contracted and that's how big the circle is that it makes. It's just huge. So I'm in my backyard trying to record this before my fingers freeze. It's like minus 20 outside. That's the spotlight on 300 lumens. And that's about 50 yards away. That's the uh, 2,300 lumens. Pretty bright. 700 lumens. Not bad if you ask me. Now let's go someplace where we get a longer view. And this is with loads of light pollution around and you can just, wow, it's amazing. Almost a full moon up there. You can just see the light going up into the sky. It's just amazing. And that's not even the brightest light. That's the brightest there. Check that out. That's just so cool. And that's with loads of light pollution around. And there's loads of light pollution here, but look at this. You can see it on that building. That building is 400 yards away. I'll measure it again. I believe it's 400 yards, might be a little bit more. And see on the side of that building, you see that light come up. <laughs> and that's with loads of light around. Amazing, just amazing. Light up those trees, that sign, for pretty much in the middle of the screen. Let's find another spot. So it's darker down here in the back alley. Let's turn the light on. <laughs> it just overwhelms the place. It 
Check that out. See, there's a telephone pole here. And that's the next one down. It just totally makes it white. And then there's a third one down there in the middle of the screen. That's the second one. And that's the third one down there. You can see right in the middle of that circle. Lots of light there. You just see down the street. It's just cool. Okay, now I'm going to open up the uh, aperture. Check that out. Just lights up everything. Take the camera away. Of course, the camera adjusts its light output. So it looks different to you than it does to me. It's actually more dramatic to me than the, than the camera picks up. So you can see if I got the light off, you can see how much light it is. And then when I first flash the light on it, it'll be bright. And then in just a fraction of a second or half a second, it'll dim back down. Okay, so you notice that? Oh, well. Uh, you can get a pretty good idea of how much light you can see with 2300 lumens. And it just lights up the place compared to nothing. I like this light an awful lot. It's so bright, it just washes out the signs. Well, the next three nights are supposed to be even colder than tonight. And that's before Monday. Every night until then. So... This is all I can do for today. So thanks so much for watching this. I know it's a camera. It's not a camera. It's a flashlight video, not a knife video. But that's good. I love doing these things. I'm just a flashlight enthusiast, not an expert. But because I enjoy them so much, that's why I'm showing this stuff to you. There's my house. Thanks for watching. Remember, guys. Remember, cut towards your chum and not your thumb. And don't freeze your fingers when you're outside in minus 25. Well, really, it's only about minus 18, 19 right now. It's supposed to get way down. But since I don't have a set of gloves that have that stuff that I can use a cell phone with my gloves on, I got to do this barehanded. So I'm frozen. I got to go inside. Check you next time, guys.